let us continue our discussion on 1d tensors today we will look at uh, indexing and slicing so uh, these can be used to access a value or a set of values stored in a tensor and these can also be used to modify those values so first let's see an example of indexing so let's say we have a tensor x and it has uh, five elements in it one two three four and five and we know that index starts from zero so these are the indices and we want to uh, access the third element in this tensor so this will be at index 2 so we can write x2 so this will refer to the third element and uh, it will print a tensor with a value of 3 so this is also a tensor and if you want to access it as a python number you will have to write item which we have already seen uh, now let's uh, we can uh, access the value and we can also modify it so if we have to modify let's say uh, this element fourth element we can write x3 equal to 50 so this 4 will be replaced with 50 and you can verify it by printing this x so if you print x you will see that x is now a tensor where this fourth element is now 50 earlier it was 4 uh, now let's see slicing so it's very similar to slicing in a normal python list so again we are taking the same tensor and uh, if you create a small tensor out of it uh, so this is index 0 this is 1 2 3 4 so first index is 1 so this index is included so this slice starts here and the last index is 4 that is this one but this one is excluded so this is excluded this is included just like uh, slicing on python list so it's from index 1 till 3 this 4 is not included so it should mean this a smaller tensor with a value of 2 3 and 4 and you can verify it if you print it you will get this you can check it we will also see a running example of this so don't worry now uh, we can use the slicing to modify the value just like we used indexing so again uh, this is 0 1 2 3 4 so first index is 2 and last index is 4 so so index 2 starts here and before 4 not including 4 so just 3 and 4 so it should be replaced with 100 and 200 and you can verify it by printing now the x tensor is 1 2 100 and 200 and no longer 3 and 4 so now let's see an example of this in Google Colab notebook. So first we will need to import torch and then let's create a tensor x, the same tensor. let's print x let's print uh, some index now let's modify some index and after modifying print x so you see that uh, this value is modified uh, now we will use slicing and uh, what we will do uh, we will write uh, x 2 to 4 and let's see what it prints so it prints 3 and 50 so this is the updated x so starting index is 2 that is third element 1 2 3 and ending index is 3 4 is not included so just these two elements and now let's modify these two elements so we write x 2 4 equal to Torch dot tensor hundred two hundred and now if you write x these two values are modified so I hope uh, you understood uh, indexing and slicing these are very useful uh, operations 
and uh, next we will look at some uh, other useful operations that are done uh, in performed in neural networks and those are made very simple if you use pytorch <laughs>